Hi guys, hello and welcome to Inceptor Gaming. If you're new to my channel, click like, give me a subscribe, put in the comments below about the sort of games you like to play, or any ideas or suggestions of games for me to look into. Also guys, check out an awesome looking game called Crush Depth, link in the description below, and if you'd be so kind to support my channel, it's all up to you, no obligation, link in the description below for that as well. Today then guys, I'm continuing with Space Crew, and this is Hestia Spiral. So basically I've got to go uh, research an area, see what's going on, and uh, kick some alien booty. <laughs> right then. So picking up where I left off previously. Um, just going to look at upgrading my ship. Let's just check out the armor upgrades. Uh, yeah, I can afford that. Okay, let's get some better armor on the ship. Because as the game is progressing, the levels are getting harder and harder, and I'm getting more beat up and battered every single time. Right. Oh, Missile Launcher Mark II. Okay, that's an interesting looking weapon. Although Mark I is kind of underwhelming, to be honest. So I'm pretty sure I'm not really going to go for that. Um, I think I will give that one a miss. Okay, so I've got an Auto Cannon Mark I. Currently, I might change that out. Uh, particle Beam 1, okay, that's less damage though. So there's no real point in going for that one. Uh, Railgun at the back. Okay, so there's an upgraded Railgun later. I can't have that yet, so there's no point changing that. Quick look at the engines. Is the engines worth it? <coughs> Standard engine mark two, okay. So better defensive and more power, makes you a bit faster. Could be worth a look. Okay, so Standard Mark II really is the only sort of viable option in the engines department, really, if I decide to go for that. Um, I'm also considering as well, do I go for the escape pods? I've got a few already, but I might need to add an extra one or two. Uh, okay, there's different levels of escape pods as well. Uh, put another one of those in. Yeah, might, might as well, possibly. That's the thing with this game, like, there's so many different, um, oh, there's a Mark II escape pod there, what's that? Improved escape pod, uh, good chance, oh, okay, so there's better chance of getting picked up with a Mark II than a Mark I, okay. I'm going to leave those alone for now, actually, to be fair. I have got four escape pods, so, yeah, about half my crew will escape if, <laughs> if it comes to that. Just looking at the, uh, the equipment racks, mm, got pretty laid out pretty well. System's always good to upgrade as well. So the fast fuel generator is not really worth it. Oh, that could be a good investment. Gravity Mark II, okay, yeah, so that makes that a bit more sturdy. Uh, it's a great auction as well, okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's good to upgrade the subsystems as well, because it's easy to think about, oh, yeah, weapons and armour and all this stuff. But, you know, there are other, there are other functions in the ship that also need to be running smoothly as possible. And, of course, the enemy does seem to, seem to target the... Uh, the shield generators and gravity generators as well, so yeah. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the crew. Is there anything worth upgrading here? <clears throat> well, that's quite a bright in-your-face <laughs> suit, eh? Okay, so I've given them all radiation suit mark three. Uh, just because we do seem to get quite a few radiation leaks, uh, especially on standard engines when they <laughs> get destroyed, but hey. Right then. Um, okay, so we're going to investigate phasmid activity. So, yep. Yeah. So the location we're going to head to is a place called Hestia Spiral. So we're going to go there and <laughs> see what's going on. Okay, yep, happy with my crew positions. Let's go. Okay, there's our first waypoint.
<clears throat> okay, hyperdrive is up. Let's go. Enemies incoming already. First jump. Okay, there's our second jump. Let's line up with it. Let's see how many enemies we've got coming for us already. Uh, just a couple by looks of things so far. Not too bad. We can manage that. Is my Gatling gun is shooting at? <laughs> it's, it's firing to empty space. There's nothing there. <laughs> oh, that was quite a big explosion. <laughs> okay, now we're going to surround it. Okay. Pretty quickly, <laughs> we've gone from ah, just a couple of enemies to now we're yep, getting quite surrounded. Okay. Good old HMS Dreadnought crew here holding the own though, so that's all good. Still got more I need to tag up. Let's have those. Okay, we dispatch them pretty quickly. That's what I like to see. My uh, my gun crew there is actually seems to be on form now. To be honest, even though one of them was firing wildly and complete nothing. Okay, hyper jump drive. Hyper jump drive is charged. Excellent. <laughs> okay, nice one. Ooh, taking damage from the boulders. <clears throat> of course, on the plus side, actually, I'm wondering this might actually make it harder for the enemy to attack us. Because they've got to fly through all this as well. Although I am considering calling him back up as well at this point. All right, let's get those all tagged up. Okay, there's a few more of them, right. Okay, so six on me. Okie dokie, not too bad at the moment. That can change. There we go. My friendly escort's coming in. Pounded on all sides there. Ooh, okay, all my shields are down. Okay, getting a bit of a hammer in now. Right. I believe that's our shield generator gone down, possibly. Is it? I think it is, yeah. No, sorry, that's a gravity generator. Gravity's gone down. Okay. I thought a shield generator was gone, but no, it's gravity. Uh, still got to tag all these guys up, all these enemies here. <coughs> Look at that! Oh, um, our oxygen generator is being targeted specifically. <laughs> yeah, okay, they're getting trickier these enemies as time is going on. Right, so let's get my uh, one of my engineers to repair that in a minute. Come on, Andre, get on there, get it repaired. No oxygen, you all die. So <laughs> come on. Oh my God, my escorts are going already. Already going home. Okay. Yeah, you got a Star Trek Enterprise type vessel on my six. <laughs> right, let's go for my shield generator. Oh, yeah, very nice. <laughs> okay, so my escorts have all disappeared, but at least all the enemies are gone as well. So I seem to have cleared the uh, the enemy in the air, which is good. 
surprised I didn't encounter anything more than just a few fighters and stuff. Sometimes you get like a like a frigate or something, or some other kind of large vessel drop in there. But anyway, doesn't appear to be the case at the moment. Okay, more enemies incoming. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, we've got a cruiser requesting assistance. Right, okay. This I wasn't expecting. Right, let's head over to the cruiser. Provide covering fire. It's a John there on the railgun, doing a good job. Okay, let's tag up the ones coming from the front. But I would have thought the cruiser would have some uh, quite decent firepower, though, to be honest. I mean, you know, cruiser you'd expect to be quite a large ship. But anyway, not to worry, let's, uh, let's get closer, see what we can find. Okay, enemy ingress coming in, right. Gonna get Castor on the rifle. <laughs> Take care of those uh, enemy borderers. Got Martino on it as well. That's a pretty small ship actually for a cruiser, to be honest. I've just noticed. Okay. I think the devs might need to re rework what a cruiser is. <laughs> Getting shot up pretty good, our shields are down. Lots of enemies coming in from all sides. Oh, still got enemies on board ship and a fire breaking out as well. <laughs> okay, still getting a bit hectic, right? Get Andre to repair the shields, okay. Oh, gravity's gone as well. <laughs> so as it stands, uh, gravity's gone, shields are gone. <laughs> Oh, now a uh, now Star Trek type ship is working on a row 2 generator and they've got a fire to put up. Oh, it's all getting a bit peaked on. And also my uh, core is getting damaged as well. <laughs> oxygen is uh, disabled. No, 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 no. We need to get the oxygen back up. Andre, get on the oxygen. <laughs> Martino can repair the damage there. Right. Get one minute, guys. <laughs> And the gravity to speed us up of it moving around the ship. Okay, Martina can repair the core now, right. Andre, get back to your gun position please, there we go. I've just noticed Lin is down, Lin is down. I'll have to see if I can uh, heal Lin. Cask to uh, grab the med kit there. Come on, I don't really want to be losing any crew members at this state in the game because, uh, you know, your crew level up quite a bit and you lose some of that. Uh, Let's return everybody to safe positions. Okay, it's all got nice and quiet. Hopefully I can limp back to base. Okay, so there's the base, bit of time compression. <laughs> Let's get in nice and quickly. Okay, we're safely home. Excellent. Oh, look at this state of dreadnought there. She's quite beat up. 
The enemy's been defeated, which is good. And we defended the cruiser, although it looked a bit small for a cruiser, but hey, who am I to judge? Okay, well everybody's come back safely, which is good. Oh, we've got some new uh, upgrades for next time. Auto weapon switch, okay. Overdrive. Oh, some new kit that I might be looking at uh, getting for next time. Okay, so there we have it, guys. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my content in general. As I said, Please check out Crush Depth, and if you'd be so kind, entirely up to yourself, no obligation. I'd really love it if you'd be so kind as to donate to my channel. Just keeps me going, especially these hard times at the moment we're facing. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Thank you for watching.